Hey there, what is up and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to compare Batman Begins or the very first movie of the Nolan trilogy and the Batman released this year. It release of a new Batman comes the casting where most fans have their own expectations and hate canon and various actors who they think could fill the role. But when the studio announces official cast, people tend to get skeptical and sometimes angry, rightfully so, cause this is a character that is liked by many people and they wouldn't want this character getting portrayed bad in a movie. Now this thing happened with Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck. People were angry and skeptical about Heath Ledger's portrayal of Joker before the movie and you know how that turned out. And this movie is no different. Robert Pattinson also gets some backlash for being the Twilight guy but he portrays the role pretty greatly. Now for the villains, both this movie has more than one villain. Batman Begins has Scarecrow and Liam Neeson and the new one has Riddler and Penguin. So both movies having two villains could have a similar structure. But throughout the movie, this new one does a little bit of sequel bit and they also have a post credit scene which is also part of sequel painting. So overall for the villains I can say both movies does a good job now. I won't spoil either of the movies but the villains problem get resolved in the Nolan's first movie but this movie the villains problem. The villains are defeated but has the chance of returning and with Penguin getting a spin off himself. Do not want surprise, both our stories are happening in Gotham as our main setting, but the city seems very different, well not in terms of visual which is obvious because the new movie is way dark compared to the previous one. Well anyway, we are talking about the city itself. In Nolan's trilogy, the city knows Batman for a while and to be honest for them Batman is like friendly neighborhood detective guy but the new movie is where Batman is in his early days and the cops are not helpful to him they are not believing him and they are feeling like Batman is a pain in their butt and after this movie I can say that Gotham is probably the worst city in the comic universes Batman or any other superhero to be honest has two sides like their alter ego of superhero and a regular life and in this movie 90 to 95 percent of the movie is about Batman and that should be good right? Well the difference between a regular detective movie and a Batman movie is the balance of the alter egos Bruce Wayne and Batman. In this movie there is a lot of problem with like Bruce Wayne because Bruce Wayne is hardly in this movie like 90 to 95 percent is Batman and 2 to 3 percent is Bruce Wayne and the rest time he is like off screen or too dark to see. Jokes aside this movie does have a very little Bruce Wayne in it. Now with that much of Batman in the movie, the director got to stretch his hand with detective stuff. Batman really does his detective stuff in this movie unlike most of the movies where they does a little thinking and the resolutions comes in. But this movie is throughout the movie Batman tries to identify Riddler's real identity. But sometimes they go well and beyond and pull the movie to around 3 hours with some not so needed subplot which I won't spoil but if you have seen the movie you'd know what I'm talking about. Batman Begin was before the MCU sequel bedding era so most of the villains are like most of the villains causes mayhem but their cause are resolved in the movie while the new movie not only has to make a satisfying story but also set up a future franchise which will have sequels, spin-offs prequels, god knows what not. This movie comes out at a period when MCU sequel betting is like a trend. So this movie focuses on some characters so that these characters could have their own movies, shows like different spin-off. And we also get a glimpse of one of Batman's most iconic villain which I'm not going to spoil in this video and if you still wanna know, you will find a 
spoiler video on, in my channel. So after this movie, they can build a whole franchise out of it. Gotham BD show movie with cat woman maybe some more of thriller and penguin tv shows already announced and i'm pretty sure pattinson will get his sequels also while the 2005's batman was like a movie which resolved all its problems in the runtime the only setup for the next movie was the money which they got with christian bell as batman and that was enough well overall i would say it's a good movie and probably a great batman movie so that's it for today's video and if you like this video like this video and if you don't like this video don't hit like no one's gonna say that and subscribe and follow me on twitter at D-R-A-G-O-N-E-M and hope to meet you in future. Bye.